Hey, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We're out here at the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier and I'm gonna give you a live report. I'll tell you, the mackerel fishing is on fire. Been using this fat jig today. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, we got up there, he goes. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. So, as I said, the Spanish mackerel fishing's on fire. Using a spec jig, very slow day. Me and Chris knew it was gonna be slow today. But we wanted to come out here and do some tutorial fishing while targeting some of these Spanish mackerel and maybe even a glide grouper. So we put the glide grouper rod down over there. I got a mackerel down. And unfortunately, nothing's eating the mackerel. But we're having a good time. We probably caught about eight or nine Spanish mackerel and uh, all in the spec jig. So stay tuned, you're gonna see a video on how I'm doing that today. And who knows, if you wanna catch and then a cook video to follow up, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe we'll cook up this mackerel. All right guys, so we're gonna to try to catch the bait. I already got a ladyfish in the bucket. What I'm doing is I'm tying on one of my little spec jigs that I've showed you guys with a loop knot. This is in the chartreuse. We got a one tide day essentially today, so it's not the best fishing. So we figure we come out here and do some, catch some Goliath baits, and hopefully demonstrate some tutorials for you guys that'll help you. We got a beat. We got a beat. Got a beat. Got a beat. There's our bait. Oh, there's two of them together. I thought it was a really big one. It's three of them. Yee, me, 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 me. Mac attack. Oh. All right, guys. Got another one. Oh, 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 oh. I think I got another one. He's trying to get away from me. Got him. Oh. oh, he got it. Bit me off, guys. He bit me off. Clean. The runner. Maybe God's giving me a sign. Well, dude, you gotta say if you want it. I'm thinking about it. I'm just thinking, because if I throw on my cord, put it on that side. It's not gonna go anywhere. You gotta put it on that side, in the middle. Yeah, actually a cove would pick it up right there. You get another one, I'll, I'll go ahead and put them on. I already... Ooh, gotta change that leader again, guys. Jeez Louise. So one of the key when Spanish mackerel fishing up here at the Skyway Fishing Pier is you want to make sure that you're changing out your leader when it gets is frailed. I mean, I'm using lighter leader in uh, hopes that I get more strikes, but if you want to get cut, cut off less, then you use heavier leader. I'm using 25 today, guys.
There he is, guys. And keeping button. Macro time. Spec jig. What? What was it? What we got here? Blue runner. Man, that's a perfect size blue runner. Oh my gosh. That's your grouper grouper candy. Kingfish grouper. That's it right there, guys. If you want him, you gotta tell me something, bro. Uh, if you're gonna just throw him back. <laughs> this guy. Well, I look back and forth. I can't really get him to go out that way. Alright, guys. Here we are. Another one. He's a little bit smaller. I don't think he's a keeper. What do you think? You think that's a keeper? We got a couple. Let him live. Let him live. All right, guys. He's pretty Let small. The little guy go back. He swam away healthy. So one of the things I have to admit about these GoPros guys is the Hero Sevens. It gets hot and they just freeze up. Like I was just trying to record this with you guys on my chest strap, and this GoPro is completely locked up because it's overheated. Come on, GoPro. That's why you get yourself an eight. Yeah. It it will not start. Oh, there, it goes. there it goes. Oh my god, it's my line. It's our line. Alright guys, there we go. Of the macro. Right off the back of the truck, guys, just busted out a little fryer here. So, what you want to do is we have some fish and chips batter here. All right, so I got my fish and chips batter right here. Follow the instructions on the fish and chips and just mix it up. My wife did that for me, got that taken care of. You got some beautiful little mackerel flays. Look at this, Lowry seasoned salt. You can sprinkle it a little bit, give it a little extra flavor if that's what you want, if that's what you like. I heated my oil or preheated 375. We'll bring it down to 350 once it's to, to the right heat. And then what I do is go ahead and drop, what the, go ahead and drop your fish right in your batter here. Nice little nuggets, guys. And you wanna coat them. I can do a bunch of these actually while we're waiting on this baby to heat up. Nice and coated, guys. So, this thing's getting pretty close to temperature. The key to macro is just eating it while it's fresh. Right when, right when it's hot, right when you get it out, a lot of people let it sit. Yeah, it, it doesn't taste too great when you gotta like pre or warm it up again or you wanna eat it while it's fresh. Look at this, Chris. <laughs> I don't wanna get all the oil all over the place. I'm gonna use this to do this. <laughs> I, just, I don't like the batter real rough thick. I just like a thin, thin batter. Oh, 
fuck you even shorter? Somebody was tiny. What happened over there? Good. She didn't give me a fork, but I didn't get one either, so I guess it's my fault. Simple as one, two, three, guys. It literally took no time to cook this. What do you think, overall consensus? I think it's pretty good. And like I told Josh, never had uh, fried mackerel before. I'm thoroughly impressed. Fried mackerel, some people will say, hey, it's super fishy. If you prepare it and you eat it fresh, it's really, really delicious, guys. These little gold nuggets, I got a lot of them. So hey, stay tuned. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. If you want to see more Catch It Cooks, let me know below. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.